Now sure. let's go to what makes it multispectral. And, and one area that I think is also important, well, two areas that I think is important to cover. One, why there's no blue. And second is that there, uh, someone had messaged me about the red edge of the Phantom 4 multispectral being not so great. And if you have any background on that or opinion on that, and if this is either better or if you know that might have been overstated because I, I couldn't answer that. Sure. So yeah, there's a, a decent amount to unbunk here. Um, <clears throat> I'm not surprised with the Phantom 4 multispectral a bit. The one upgrade, massive upgrade you're gonna see, the Phantom 4 multispectral had two megapixel imagery. This, each camera is five megapixels. So you're looking at two and a half times the GSD, so a bit more clarity in there. Um, you're also going to notice we are capturing four bands in there, green, red, red edge, near infrared. You can see which bands of light we're going after. The Phantom 4 multispectral was plus or minus 32 nanometers. Um, we're tightening that up quite a bit. So it's becoming much, much closer to some of the other industry standards we're seeing with MicaSense or the Sequoia, things like that. So the accuracy of the bands is greater. The GSD is also greater. We did have to drop the blue band, like you mentioned. Um, there were, there are some analysis that the blue band does help with. There's some wheat analysis, um, but overall, we found most people running NDVI or enhanced NDVI there or OSAVI. Most of those indices are using red, green, near infrared, or red edge bands. And what we can do by sacrificing the weight and size of a blue band, we can still maintain the large visual sensor, which is so important to get spatial and spectral accuracy and resolution. So there was a sacrifice to be made and we kind of pulled the plug on the sensor, the band that we found the least valuable. Perfect, and here's another question. When you're doing a survey, capturing survey data, you're basically, you can tell the, the drone to only capture RGB and not capture in multispectral. And I would assume that there's the possibility of the inverse where you're only capturing from those four multispectral cameras and not capturing the, the heavier data intensive uh, RGB images from a 20 megapixel camera. Can you capture all at the same time? So you're basically able to do the overlap of the map to the, uh, to the multispectral data? Yes, another good question. So you can turn on either one or the other or both. Typically, we're going to, if we're running vegetation and we're running the multispectral, we will leave the visual camera on. But there are plenty of reasons in the enterprise space where they're using it for just a mapping drone, where they don't want to capture 30 gigabytes of multispectral data. You can just shut those bands off. Perfect. Thank you for that. Um, so this is a, a comparison slide to the Phantom 4 multispectral, and you said you were going to look at historical data. You touched a little bit on the, the accuracy uh, improvements, but what else can we kind of expect from this jump from the Phantom 4 multispectral to the Mavic 3 multispectral? Yeah, I mean, the biggest one here is the visual band. Like we were stacking all six sensors at two megapixels. So we were getting the right spatial or spectral accuracy and spectral resolution, not even. But by being able to keep that four third sensor on there, that's, that's the largest difference you're going to see. It's not having to sacrifice the spatial side. Okay, perfect. I, I think we touched on most of the other things. I'm just trying to make sure. Uh, I think we're all right, but if anyone has any questions about, you know, there's specific questions that go from Phantom 4 to the, the Mavic 3, if you have those, throw them in the question section. But I think we mostly covered what the payload differences are. The airframe differences are vast, but that's like a different conversation as a whole. Um, smaller footprint, obviously, longer flight time.